Okay, so the steps for creating the Hello World program in uh, Macintosh are very similar, uh, if not almost exactly the same as the ones in uh, PC. I'm just going to use a, one different program, at least for the first few weeks of the class. Uh, so I'm at the assignment, Hello World. The uh, Windows version was uh, coded in uh, Notepad. Uh, I do have a link where you can uh, find uh, where to get Notepad++ or Sublime, which is uh, another program that is also available for the Macintosh. For this particular exercise, I'm going to use uh, Nano, N-A-N-O, um, that comes uh, built in with the system. It's a simple text editor, and that's all you need to program Java. There's a link at the bottom here uh, to find, you know, you can you can do a Google search and you can find Hello World in Java and, and just about any language out there. So let's, uh, let me jump to my terminal. I opened it up the same way that I did the last time. I went to the uh, search, the uh, Sherlock up here and typed in terminal. And then my terminal window popped up. Um, let me see where I am. As far as the directory is concerned, I think I'm in my uh, home in my home directory. So I, I can see the uh, tilde here and my username for my computer right there as well. I can always ask the system, where am I? I'll type in pwd and it tells me that I'm inside the users folder inside the, uh, the name of my user folder, paco.org. I'm going to create a new folder inside of this one, and I'll do that by typing in the command mkdir, make directory, and I'll call it Java. Just like the other one, I'll use a capital J. I'll see what has been created. I'll get a directory listing, ls, and I should see Java somewhere. It's right there. I'm going to change my uh, view into that directory. I'll change directory to Java get a listing and uh, there's nothing there it's blank and that's exactly what I need I need a blank directory to work in the program that I mentioned it's nano n-a-n-o uh, if I type in that command in terminal it opens up uh, notice your commands at the bottom have the caret next to the letters so it the caret represents the control key control G gets you help Control X exits, Control O write out, etc. There's a few commands here. We'll be using a couple of them. Uh, for example, I'll type Control X to exit. The file was blank, so it just kicked me right out, and that's fine because I'm still not ready to create the file. I am inside the Java directory, but I want to have a folder called uh, Hello World, just like the other assignment. And I'll make the directory by typing in mkdir, capital H-E-L-L-O, capital W-O-R-L-D, hello world, press enter. I'll change into that directory, hello world, and get a listing. It should be empty, and it is. Now that I'm inside hello world, I can create the file. And then everything else that gets created for this program will also be contained inside of that folder. It'll make it easier to archive and zip and turn in all in one file. I will nano and nano, and I'm going to tell it to create a new a new file called hello world in camel case dot java. This is going to be the source of the program. I'll press enter. It tells me that we're working on file hello world, and I misspelled it, but I can always go back and rename it. So that's fine. And uh, I will now uh, give it some code that will allow us to say the words hello world. So just like the other one, I will create a class, a public class, and I'll call it hello world. I will open up uh, braces and close them right away and then get inside of them and press enter a couple of times so that I have space to type in my code. Just like the other one, uh, I'm going to tell it uh, public static void main 
open up parentheses, capital S for string, and open and close some square brackets, and then type in args. At this point, close the parentheses. If the code looks a little bit different than the other one, don't worry. It's the same effect. This is a very simple program. It does nothing except say hello world. I will now open up and close another set of braces. I'll press enter and press tab just to make sure that I'm keeping my spacing correct. I'll go back to the beginning of the uh, first brace, press enter here, press tab a couple of times and start the program with a print statement. So that's a system with a capital S dot out dot print line P R I N T L N and parentheses quote and my quote is hello world hello comma world exclamation point. I've been typing this for a few years. I will close the parentheses and I will also close the line with a semicolon. So here's my hello world uh, dot Java program. I haven't saved it yet. Uh, and to save it, I need to exit. So control X, just like I exited the last time. The last time there was no code, so it took me right out. I'll press control X and now it says save modified buffer. That is this area right here. Answering no will destroy it. So I better say yes. And that's the why. I'll click on Y, it gives me another menu, it tells me that the file name to write is hello world.java and although I'm not fine with that, I can always change it later. I think I can change it here now, but I'm going to skip on that uh, because I'm ready to close and save. So file name to write, it's that one. I'll press enter. It's accepted. I'll do an ls to list and I see my misspelled uh, Hello World Java there. To rename this in uh, in the Mac system, in Unix, Linux, etc., I can move the file from its state to uh, a new state. So I'll say MV for move and the name of the file. And uh, I'll just say from that name to this one, Hello World. Hey, you learned a little Linux today. Let me not misspell Java. Hello world.java. I'll press enter, get a listing, and there's my file, hello world.java. So my source code is now ready to be compiled. Well, let me go back to here. I gotta pop there. Um, let's compile it with Java C. And the name of the file, hello world.java, I'll press enter. And I get no errors. I got nothing happening. So that's a good thing. Let's see what happened to the directory. I'll get a listing, ls, and I have my original source code, hello world.java, and now I have hello world.class. If I want to run the Java program, I'll type Java, and then the name of the file, hello world, and uh, without the extension, just run that because it's gonna pick up the class to run it. Press enter, and I get the message, hello world. If I want to make any changes or additions to the code, just like I did before, I'll type in nano and the name of the file, hello world.java, the source code. Press enter. And nano is a little bit more picky than your average uh, OS 10 or Macintosh um, application. It's, it's actually an old Linux application, so you have to do everything with your keyboard going to navigate to the end of the print line. Uh, type tab a couple of times, make a small change, say system.out print ln and then a second line that says hello ITSC 2417 exclamation point. End the quotes, close the parentheses, close the line with a semicolon same process, control X to say we want to exit, press enter, or actually a Y, to uh, save the buffer, yes. And now I can press enter, file name to write is hello world.java, has been changed. If I run Java, hello world again, I should get hello world because we have not compiled the new program. This is still the old program. I will compile the new one with Java C. 
and then the name of the program, hello world dot java. I'll run it, no errors, and then let's try to run the program and see what the result is. So Java, hello world. Hello world, hello ITSE 2417. So now that we are running Java on this Macintosh, we can go into the command line, uh, use nano to create small programs and get them running. In, uh, in a few more videos, I'll show you how to use um, Sublime or another program. I like Sublime for OS X.